All right, so this is Chris. I've never seen this throw. So I don't particularly love this angle. Oh, come on, Chris. So, I don't know why you're so stiff on this left here the whole time. Loosen that, loosen that up a little. Like, I mean, good wind here. Bring that right, right elbow, bring it back a little bit more behind the hip. Good pickup time, but when this right sweeps, bring it forward. Sweep that a little wider and then forward. You're really short with this. You better go wide to the front here. Look at how short, I mean, you're six, eight inches back here. And then when this when this right grounds, hand should be back towards this fence, towards this post right here. Okay, I want that left arm elevated and back. Then that stalls out. But you, so right, that's where your left arm is. I want your left arm here. Okay, then at right as this left's about to ground, open it out into the sector. You got to get that right knee to rotate rotate into that left side and don't be so fearful of Fallon like push over that toe board think about punching somebody so if I if I if I land here and there's a dude let's say there's a dude standing there right here look at that stick figure okay is it gonna hurt him more if I punch out into the sector like that or is it gonna hurt him more the way you're punching right here where you're falling back it's like you're scared look at where your right foot's landing you're you're landing a good foot and a half to two feet away so it's like you would hit him and fall back whereas if it was the way I want you to finish you'd be punching through his head think about that analogy when you're finishing a throw okay that's a really great stick figure. Um, so a wider sweep out of the back to the front. Left arm elevated and longer here. Pull that left arm out into the sector, over the left. Finish over the toe board. And then rotate through the finish, okay? Okay.